Our next topic is we are going to learn how to find the equation of a circle when we are given the center and then a point on the circumference. Okay? So remember that we learned that for any circle, okay, from the center AB to a point P, let's say the center P to the point Q, um, XY on the circumference, this is the radius. Okay? And we learned that our center. Uh, if we have the general equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0, our center is minus g minus f, okay? And then our radius is equal to the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So when you are given a point, okay, at the, cent of the, at the circumference, and then we are also given the center, we can find the equation by using the general equation to solve it. So if we want to solve this, we are going to use the general equation to solve it. And the general equation is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to zero. Now, from this, our center is minus 6, 5. And when we are using this equation, we always know that our center, okay, is equal to minus g minus f. So in that case, because our center is minus g minus f, if we want to put the values of g and f here, which is the center, negative 6 and 5, our g will be equal to positive 6, and then our f will be equal to negative 5, because we are using minus g minus f. Then we fix them into this equation. So using g equals to 6 and f equals to minus 5, we fix them here, we shall have x squared plus y squared plus 2 times g is 6, so 6 times x plus 2 times f is minus 5, minus 5 times y plus c is equal to 0. So this is going to give us x squared plus y squared plus 2, 6 is 12 x, then minus 10 y plus c is equal to 0. Now if we should compare, okay, we are getting the general equation of a straight line. But since we know that our g, our x and y, okay, our x and y is also our um, center, which is the point on the circle. The point on the circle is 1, 3. X is 1, Y is 3. These are the points, 1 and 3. So for us to get the value of C, we are going to put when X is equal to 1 and Y equals to 3 into this to get the value of C because these are the points X and Y on the circle. So for us to determine the value of C, we shall get x is 1, so we have 1 squared plus y is also 3, so 3 squared plus 12 times 1 minus 10 times 3 plus c is equal to 0. So we are solving for c. So over here we shall realize that our c will be equal to, we shall have 1 plus 3 squared is 9 plus 12 minus 30 plus c is equal to 0. So our c will be equal to 30 minus 12 minus 9 minus 1, where our C will be equal to, when we calculate 30 minus 12, it will give us minus uh, positive 18. 18 minus 9 will give us 9. 9 minus 1 will give us 8. So our C is equal to 8. So therefore, our equation, <coughs> replacing the value of C, excuse me, replacing the value of C here, our equation now becomes x squared plus y squared plus 12x minus 10y plus 8 is equal to 0. This is the equation of a circle. So this is how we find the equation of a circle when we are given a center and then a point on the circumference. Okay? Now we are also going to learn when we, when we are asked to find the equation of a circle when we are given three points on the circumference of the circle. We want to find the equation of a circle when we are given three points at the circumference, okay? So in this case, what we usually do is we always use the general equation of a circle. And the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to zero. Now, because the three points are all uh, points on the OXY plane, which has xy coordinates, okay? We fix the first point there, which is the first value of x and y. <coughs> we get our first equation, and the equation will be in terms of G, F, and C. So we'll get three separate equations, and then we solve them simultaneously. We get the values of, we put the values of X, Y inside, 
to get the corresponding values of G, F, and C, okay? So when we are able to get the corresponding values of G, F, and C by solving them simultaneously, we are going to write our equation as X squared plus Y squared plus the value of G, two times the value of G, plus we just fix them back to get the equation of the circle. Now, let's solve an example. Assuming we are asked to find the equation of a circle passing through the point 3, 4. So let's write this question now. Find the equation of a circle. Find the equation of a circle of the circle passing through the point passing through the point we have the point um, 3, 4, 0, 5, and 4, negative 3. So we have the three points given, okay? As we want to find the equation of the circle given these three points. Now this is how we go about it. So with the equation of the circle, with the general equation given, okay? So in our solution, with the general equation given as this, we have the point 3, 4. So we have the first point, which is 3, 4. So when x is 3, y is 4, we fix them here. So when x is 3, y is 4, we have 3 squared plus y is 4. So 4 squared plus 2g times 3 plus 2f times 4 plus c is equal to 0. Okay? So solving, we shall get 3, 3 is 9, 4, 4 is 16. So we have 9 plus 16 plus 2, 3 is 6G plus 2, 4, 8F plus C is equal to 0. So rewriting this, we shall get 6G plus 8F plus C is equal to 9 plus 16 will give us 25. So it's equal to minus 25. We call this equation 1. So again, we fix the next value, which is x is 0, y is 5, into this equation. So we have x is 0, y is 5. So when x is 0, 0 squared plus y is 5, so 5 squared, plus 2 times g times 0, plus 2 times f times y is 5, so 5, plus c is equal to 0. This will give us 25, because 0 plus 25 is 25. 5 squared is 25, plus, this will be 2 times g times 0, which is 0. So plus 2 times 5 is 10. We have plus 10f plus c is equal to 0. So we have 10f plus c is equal to minus 25. We call this equation 2. And the next one is when x is 4, y is negative 3. We have the point x is 4, y is negative 3. So we fix them here to get the corresponding x and y values. So x is 4, y is 3, we shall have 4 squared plus y is minus 3, minus 3 squared plus 2 times um, 2 times g times 4. Then we have plus 2 times f times minus 3, f is minus 3, y is minus 3, then plus c is equal to 0. So solving, we shall get 16 plus 9 plus this will give us hg, then we have minus 6f, then plus c is equal to 0. So our third equation becomes, our third equation now becomes 16 plus 9 is 25, so we have 25 plus hg minus 6f plus c is equal to 0. So solving, we have 8g minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 25. Wow. We have equation 3. So with this, we have equation 1, 2, and 3. Now we have to solve them simultaneously. Okay? So if we should write our equation 1 down, which is 6y, oh, 6g plus 8f plus c is equal to minus 25. This is our equation 1. Okay, and then our equation three is our equation two is 10f plus c is equal to minus 25. That's our equation two. So looking at this, I think it is very easy for us to eliminate c. Okay, but I can see also here that 
G has already been eliminated in equation 2. Okay, so we can either choose to multiply this by 8 and this by 6 to eliminate G, or we can go ahead and then subtract equation 3 from equation 1 to eliminate C, and then equation 2 from equation 1 to also eliminate C. Uh, so whichever way we want to do it, we can do it that way. So let's first... Um, Let's just multiply equation 1 by 8 and then equation 3 by 6. So equation 1 times 8. The whole of equation 1 times 8, this will give us 8, 8, 64. Equation 1 times 8. So equation 1, 6 times 8 is 48. 48 um, G. And then plus um, 8, 8 is 64, 64 F plus 8c is equal to 8 times 25 will give us, so we have minus 200. So this is giving us equation 4. Then we multiply equation 2, no, equation 3 by 6. Equation 3 times 6. So the whole of equation 3 times 6, 3, 6, a hey, equation 3 times 6, so 6, 8. We also have 48, we have 48 g. 6, 6, 36 minus 36 F, and then 6 times C is plus 6 C, is equal to 6 times minus 25 is also minus 200. We call this equation 5. Now for us to eliminate G, <coughs> we can choose to subtract, because this is positive 48, this is positive 48, we subtract equation 4 from 5, or equation 5 from equation 4. So we have equation 4 minus equation 5. Now we are eliminating G. So 48G minus 48G will go away. We are subtracting. 64 minus, minus 36 becomes 64 plus 36, which will give us 100. So we have 100F. And then 8C <coughs> minus 6C will give us 2C equals to minus 200 minus, minus 200 is 0. So we have 100F plus 2C equals to 0. This is our equation 6. So we bring our equation 2 down. 10F plus C is equal to minus 25. Now we solve this simultaneously, and then we get our values of F and C. OK? So pardon me. Let me clean the left-hand side of the board. And then we continue from there. If we have 100F plus 2C equals to 0, and 10F plus C equals to negative 25. Now, if we want to eliminate C, okay, we can choose to multiply equation 2 by 2. Okay? So this becomes 2C, then we subtract, it goes away. So we are going to multiply equation 2 times 2. So multiply equation 2 times 2, we shall have 2, 10, 20F plus 2C equals to minus 50. Now we bring our equation 6 down, which is 100F plus 2C equals to 0. This is our equation 6. We call this equation 7. So for us to eliminate C, we are going to subtract either equation 6 from equation 7 or equation 7 minus 6. So we have equation 7 minus 6. This is going to have, we are going to have um, 20F minus 100F. So this will give us minus 80F. 2C minus 2C is 0. Then we shall have minus 50 minus 0, which will also give us minus 50. Our F is equal to 50 over 80, which is equal to 5 over 8. Now, since F is equal to 5 over 8, we can put F equals to 5 over 8 into equation 2 to get the value of C. So putting... F to be equal to 5 over 8 into equation 2. We shall get 10 times 5 over 8 plus C is equal to minus 25. So we are finding C now. So 2 will go here, 4, 2 will go here, 5. So we have 25 over 4 plus C is equal to minus 25. 
So this is going to give us, we shall have C to be equal to, C is equal to minus 25, then minus 25 over 4. So our C will be equal to um, 100, minus 100 minus 25. This will be minus 1, 2, 5 over 4. This will be equal to minus 1, 2, 5 over 4. Now we need to get the value of the last variable, which is the variable G. Okay? So we put, put in C equals to minus 1, 2, 5 over 4, and F equals to 5 over 8 into equation, um, let's say equation, um, equation 1. Let's say equation one, okay? So you are putting this in equation one to get a value of um, F. So in equation one, we have 6G. So we have 6G plus 8F. So 8 times our F is 5 over 8. Then plus C. So plus minus 1, 2, 5 over 4 is equal to, then this is equal to minus 25. So solving for G, this will give us 8, we cancel 8, we have 6G plus, um, okay, so 6G will be equal to minus 25 plus 1, 2, 5 over 4, then plus 5, okay, which will be minus 5, because it's the equal to sign, it becomes minus 5. So this will be 6G is equal to minus 30 plus 1, 2, 5 over 4. So 6G will be equal to 4 times 30 is minus 120. Minus 120 plus 125 will give us positive 5. So we have 5 over 4. So our G will be equal to 5 over 4 times 1 over 6. So our G will be equal to um, 5 over 24. So we have the value of G.